Hello there, friends. Welcome on in or welcome back. I hope you're all having a great day. Thank you so much for joining us. We are playing a little bit more Stardew today. We have kind of already hit our goal, actually. Um, got the Jojo Member of the Year achievement yesterday, which is great. Uh, Evelyn, I need to find a present for you. Oh, hey! Shark Taco, thank you! Oh, wait, wait. Oh my god, wait, wait, wait. There's a whole lot happening at once. Dear Lord, help me. Oh, thank you so very much. Shark Taco for the Prime Gaming sub. Welcome on into stars. Enjoy your emotes. Thank you, thank you, thank you for that. And... Kat, thank you so much for gifting those subs. Roger, uh, Meg's Mess, Aurora Sunrising, Dagnell, and Sparrow. Enjoy your emotes as well. Welcome on into the starters if you were new, or welcome back if you aren't. And, uh, of course, enjoy the month of ad reviewing because, oh, dearie me, we need it. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Pokemon Girl, welcome on in as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you to the both of you for that. Um, oh, thank you. Going in for a meeting in about five minutes. I hope the meeting goes well then. Okay, uh, what is Evelyn like? I know I usually end up giving her, like, um, like daffodils or something in spring. What is she like? Beets, chocolate cake, diamonds, fairy rose stuffing, and tulips. I got, like, none of that. <laughs> I got, like, none of that, girly. Let me see here. Ooh, we'll see what I can get my hands on. I might be able to make the chocolate cake. Might be able to make the chocolate cake. Oh, Pokemon Girl, which game is that? Which game would that be? Um, but yeah, this morning we had some deaths in Stardew. It was, you know, it's okay, it happens. <laughs> uh, and our current thing... Triple the dice for the streams I missed and also today press slide. Oh, Jacob, thank you so much for the biddies. Look at that triple nice. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Hi, Unicorn. How are you? Um, I'm working on making a, uh, a crystallarium right now. We're trying to try to get our, our diamond game going here. Oh, Pokemon Girl Hack. Yes, I love the Freddy Fish games. All the humongous entertainment or edutainment games were amazing. Yeah, all the universal love gifts. I know, like, I think our diamond's not one of those. Not that I have a spare one to give right now, but... There we go. There's our crystallarium. Oh, that was kind of painful. That was, like, our only, um... Only bars of iridium, but... It's okay. It'll be worth it. Is there someone who actively does not like them? Really? You know what, here, bear with me. I notice I'm kind of bending down here when I shouldn't be. There we go, that's a lot better. Pop Pop Saves the Dew was, was your favorite. I was a big fan of uh, Spy Fox. Um, Pop Pop was great, though. Yeah, I know, I, I actually saw, I didn't know they were on Switch, but I did see they were on PlayStation, actually, pretty recently. Great fish, Pop Pop. Pajama Sam, yes! My people, you guys know where it's at. Those games were great. I tried talking to, them, uh, talking to Mike about them not that long ago and he had no idea what I was on about. Because the credit video was updated so it takes up space. And because some mods broke. Oh! Okay, people... Like, updates will do that. <laughs> people will be silly. I don't think I can mine it yet. I thought you needed, like, the Iridium quality axe to mine it, but I might be mistaken. It's like everyone loves diamonds. No, I thought the same thing. That's why I was wondering. A new baby lizard has hatched? Oh, wait. So, uh, what would, uh, was it Benjamin? Was that the name we were saying this morning? Is it Benjamin? Spy Fox and Dry Cereal? Yes, that was my favorite too. I'm on for sincerely love the Pajama Sand games. Yes, yes, all right. Benjamin, it is. There we go, R1. No, that doesn't work. There we go. 
And I will forever read this the way Little Misfortune says Benjamin, by the way. Simbagachi, hello! How are you doing? Loving the new Leaf series on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. I'm glad you've been enjoying it. Actually, I think there should be a new episode that just came out, if you guys are at all interested. Um, I was recording last night because we finally have grass again. Play more Jumpstart games. In terms of edutainment, I think I had some Jumpstart ones too. What platform am I playing? So on PlayStation 5. Power Wash Titus. I mean, that's not like t Power Wash is great. How are you doing today, by the way? Okay. Um, I'm so glad the grass is back. It's so lovely. <laughs> I miss it so much. It, it's it's a wonder how much happier seeing the grass makes me in Animal Crossing. Uh, okay, today's a horrible day, apparently. I'm doing pretty good today. Doing pretty good. Uh, let's take in some geodes. Um, and then I guess we're just gonna go back into the mines and continue trying to hunt for ectoplasm. Like, that's all we've been doing, pretty much. Um. Oh, wait. I can put the, uh, the void chicken egg in. I hope this hatches a lot more quickly. There we go. <laughs> Queen of size, the way you just made me do a double take. I'm like, wait, what? No, they're real. They're real, right? <laughs> The way I had to pause and think about that. Oh, thank you guys so much for the hype train, by the way. I really do appreciate that. Comes to Switch on Thursday. Not sure about PlayStation. I might, like, if I see those games on sale, I might low-key pick them up. Because those are very much my childhood. And I'm a sucker for nostalgia. I think I had- I'm trying to think- I, I know I had Putt-Putt Saves the Zoo and I like that one. I remember a different Putt-Putt that had like a weird like spooky minigame halfway through it and I can't remember what it was. Uh, at least I remember being scared of it but I was scared of everything as a child. Um, I had Spy Fox with the dry cereal. I remember that one. I had Pajama Sam thunder and lightning aren't so frightening or something like that uh there was one to do with darkness for pajama sam um uh, freddy fish and something with a conch shell I, the names are all like really in the back of my mind but i, I do remember them Yeah, so uh, if you participate in hype trains and stuff, there's like emotes and, and badges and stuff that you can you can earn. Oh, I forgot that those open weirdly. Oh, is that a pearl? Nice. Oh yeah, question of the day, by the way. What game have you put the most time into since the beginning of 2024? So pretty much the last two months. Seems like you have anything to donate. Oh, okay. I thought I did. <laughs> no need to be scared when it's dark outside. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. That does sound familiar. Lego, yeah. Vaguely remember playing a pot pot game. There's just something cool to show off in chat. Um, so for example, you have that little train icon next to your name. Shows that you were uh, a part of said hype train. Yay! 
Yeah, it's kind of neat. Okay, back to getting some ectoplasm. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I was gonna actually try to... Oh, it's Wednesday. Piers is closed, isn't it? Wait, is Jojo open? Jojo has to be open, right? Does Jojo sell, like, wheat, flour, sugar, and egg? Because <laughs> if they do... Or not egg, I don't, I don't... Oh, wait, no, I do need egg. <gasps> no, I can make it tomorrow morning. It's all good. I didn't have any eggs saved, but... You're... It's Wednesday, so you're closed, right? Yeah. So I'm richer too, but you're not sure? Okay, let me see here. Oh, wait. Our favorite customer, I have exciting news for you. Jojo Headquarters has approved the construction of a new Jojo Entertainment opportunity to replace the nearby Jojo Warehouse. Just need an investor willing to support our vision, so naturally I turned to you, our most devoted and generous Jojo member. We can make this happen for a small investment of... <laughs> 500,000 gold. I didn't know there was more you could spend. Oh, there's the auto petter. Wheat flour. Okay, so I just need the egg tomorrow and we can make her a chocolate cake. So. No. I, I do actually pet my animals. Mike's like, get the auto better. Oh, hi, sir. Good afternoon. He slips sliding through the snowy winter wonderland. I haven't actually played many games this year. Uh, okay, so. Gotta go put this stuff away for now. Do I actually need the recipe? I think I already had the recipe, actually. Yeah, so I just need egg, any. We can gift that to her. We're good. We are good. I don't got no eggs in my fridge. I sell everything, huh? This, like, everything that's not nailed down pretty much is sold in my JoJo run. Why? I'll just get eggs tomorrow morning. I'm good. <laughs> First playthrough of Stardew at 15 hours. Oh, wait a minute. So if you guys weren't here for it earlier, we accepted a quest where we're trying to get ectoplasm. It has just over a 9% chance of dropping from ghosty friends here. So far, no luck. Maybe this is the one. No, he was not. Um... And it feels like some luck, or some days, sorry, I have better luck going into the mines and running into ghosts than others. Uh, but the good news is I've got a lot of coal and a lot of iron over the last few days, so. What do you, what do you mean set up? Oh, I do have rainbow cam set up, thank you. Pokemon Crystal or Omega Ruby. I start for longer, maybe two in-game days. Could you explain what a JoJo run is? Absolutely. No, you're not the first person to ask. No worries. Um, so in Stardew, there's essentially two different routes you can take. There is the standard community center where you um, help out the community by donating items towards bundles uh, that get you various rewards. So for example, you can unlock the minecarts in-game by donating uh, towards a certain bundle. Oh, I got a shadow dagger. Um, and then towards the end, the community center is restored. All is right in Stardew Valley. Uh, the Joja route, or like essentially capitalism route, uh, instead of working to restore the community center, you sign up for a Joja Co membership and the community center gets turned into a Joja warehouse, which is a bit of an eyesore, I'll admit. Um, and you can still earn the same rewards like the minecarts, for example, but instead of paying with items, uh, you just pay straight up money. So it's pretty much just earning as much money as you can. Uh, and it's a bit of a different way to play. It's technically a bit easier as well, I think. 
but it is a lot of fun. I've been getting a lot of these little uh, sit sprite friends here too. I should probably go into the Adventurers Guild and check how many of them I've destroyed. Uh, now what? What was this dagger I got earlier? All right, it's not very good. When you hold a blade to your ear, you can hear one thousand souls shrieking. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, no, it's it's an interesting way to play. It kind of changes, at least in terms of how I usually play Stardew. I like to hoard every item I get my hands on. And like, I'm very conservative with how I spend my money. In this version, I'm just selling everything and I'm like spending a lot of money to get different things. Uh, it's also, at least from my experience, a lot faster. I know that you can complete the community center quite quickly, like year one. Um, I usually don't. It usually takes me a little while longer than that. But with Joja, like, you know, I could have been done by, like, midsummer easily. I think I finished fall, if not early winter, so. And that was me kind of taking it a bit slow. Yep, so a lot of the similar quests will pop up. Um, I haven't noticed too much of a difference otherwise, to be honest. Hi, Lemon Head. I'm all right. How are you doing today? That's your greatest achievement. Oh, nice. Yeah, I, I usually end up taking my time. Community center. It's going good. It's going good. I have like too many hours into Stardew, but I always enjoy it, so. And you as well. Okay, I found a ladder back here, right? Yes, I did, all right. Uh, I should probably actually back out here soon and go check out the, the guild, like I mentioned. Absolutely. Kind of keeps the conversation going, so I don't mind at all. Try another one. You mean of the Humongous Entertainment Games, Pokemon Girl? Oh, okay, let's take a look. Uh... I'm 20 away from getting whatever it is for the bats. Uh, seven away from Dougie's. Just over halfway there on Dust Sprites. Okay. Wow. Those take a while to get through. I guess we are still only in year one, to be fair. I went to the wrong one. Actually, no, wait, I went to the right one. I need to go see Shane. I don't know what time he leaves the bar. Uh, apparently not yet, so that's good for us. Are we there yet? We're there yet. Okay, cool. So tomorrow morning we're gonna go down to Marnie's and see if we can't trigger that cutscene.
Oh wait, I guess not tomorrow morning because we have the the event, and I don't think she's open tomorrow. Day after that. <laughs> Not actually romancing anyone. Um, I was aiming to try to befriend and like roommate Krobus. Um, but because this is just gonna be a short little playthrough just to get the Jojo achievement, I wasn't gonna bother marrying anyone. Um, but when 1.6 comes out, I am aiming for Harvey actually. You're just gonna wait, yeah. It is, yeah. I, I wasn't sure if it was today, is it 26? Yeah, or tomorrow. But uh, Stardew is 8, I believe that is. Oh, there's Santa, by the way. He's, he's going by. Uh, there's rumors it's gonna be pretty soon here. I don't know how accurate those are, but it might be better to hold off a bit and wait. Ooh, we're having a great day today. Jojo, it seems like you're starting to get close to some of the townspeople. If you want to show someone you're romantically interested, nope. You've got to give them one of my beautiful flower bouquets, nope. Jojo has no time for romance. Jojo's here to make money. Back, fed the humans and fed the popper and did my last clean job and now you can relax nice look at you go my wife is money pretty much pretty much we're married to our work Joe, Mr. Krabs, John. <laughs> I think something else we could kind of work on here is getting a barn upgraded as well. Um. I wouldn't say it's like absolutely necessary, but. If I can upgrade it enough, we're gonna get piggies. Hi, Ginny Bug, how are you? Well, someone didn't eat yesterday, that's a bit concerning. Why are you not consuming your food? I need to restart. I'm sorry. Wait, how do you restart on here? I done messed up. I accidentally put an egg. I meant to save an egg for the for the thingy. Bear with, bear with. That day didn't happen. No one saw that. This today didn't happen. Yes, this is definitely a brand new day that I have not yet experienced. I definitely did not know that it's going to be an extra lucky day today. It's fine. Plagiarize the title of H Bomber Guy series, you know, the person that called him out. Oh my god, really? How does he do that? Like, how do you... What are the mental gymnastics going on, Rebecca? How long will this one stay up for? Boy, a new day that never happened before. No, it definitely has never happened. Nobody saw what exactly. Exactly, we're all good. 
Look, I'm even gonna go do things differently. I mean, from what? Who knows? Because this day hasn't happened. God, I was literally telling myself to make the cake, and then I realized I had to bring the egg with me. <laughs> I'm gonna go take Kirby on his walk. Oh, no worries. Have a good one. We'll see you next time. Oh, probably, Rebecca. Probably. I wouldn't give it almost like the view, personally. Does that make sense? As nosy as I am. So, milk, I can put in there. That's not the problem. The problem was the egg. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I agree with whoever was saying that maybe they don't eat the day that they hatch. That wouldn't surprise me. Okay, uh, so this one is put in. There we go. Look at me go, chat. Jacob, enjoy your lunch. We'll see you later. I don't think it needs to be in the fridge, but... Uh, alright, chocolate cake with no chocolate in it, by the way. Oh, yeah, Rebecca. Yikes. Okay, so this is for Evelyn. We got it. We're good. Village can't say we don't do nothing for him. Uh, okay. That was actually really good timing. Memory oh my god. Who needs chocolate and chocolate cake anyway, right? Okay. Is there anything worth it here? No. Okay. Um where is she? She is. Oh, so it's you! Ah, chocolate cake, thanks! She didn't seem all that thrilled. I worked- oh my god, it, it's Vincent! Vincent, what did he get me, buddy? Um, excuse me. I have a gift for you. I found it last summer when I was playing at the beach. I hope you like it. I got a frozen geode. You know what? I'll take it. It's blue. The kid knows where it's at. I'm glad you moved here, Farmer Joja. Thank you. Now you need to grow up and then join the Joja internship program. And uh, you'll be set. Trust me. Oh, enjoy. Enjoy Portia. Uh, I think that's everything we need to do here. Like when Kent is my secret Santa, he gives me a bomb. There we go. Short event, short but sweet. Mainly because Jojo doesn't care to talk to anyone. Do you know how much it hurts me to do this, by the way? I all like even if I know all the dialogue, I still like to read it all out. This feels illegal. Oh, you got the artifact you were missing. Nice. I think we're gonna actually we probably will make it into uh year two today chat that's crazy to think about no yes 
No, I can't get rid of that? Okay. Yeah, I got the trophy. I got the trophy, so like, I'm all set for that. Jojo doesn't need nor want friends, he just wants money. The correct thing, it's true. Unless said friends can give him something. Like, a blue chicken, for example. It's true, I might actually do it again if there are changes in 1.6 in the future, just for me. Uh, I still think I prefer normal Stardew. We didn't, uh, have a void, like, uh, the witch come yet for the void egg, but we did buy one from Kropis, so we're just waiting on that to hatch. Yeah, we need an axe there. Uh, although it is about to turn over to midnight. Watch Gerard's video then. Oh, God. <laughs> Gotta bring that up. Oh, no. No, no. Gotta make the most of my time here. Bear with. Watching for the legend fish. I got a chest that contained a dino egg. Nice. Very nice. I feel like I usually end up finding the dino egg from... From fishing, I think just because you guys have seen how much fishing I do. Um, I think very rarely I've found it from dig spots, so it's kind of neat. Now just don't do what I did my first playthrough, which was donate that directly to the museum. Because <sighs> then you gotta wait for another one. <laughs> Uh, oh, we're having a bad day. Okay, that's fine. We might be getting a blue chicken today, so. Jojo, I wanted to make fish stew, but I need an albacore. I know they're almost out of season. Sorry about the short notice. Could you catch one for me? Sure, I love fishing. Like I just finished staying. Where did my... Where did my mining pan... Oh, no, there it is. I'm, I just can't see it. There we go. Six pawns now and fishing level three on my off farm. Or sorry, off stream. Now fishing slash crab pots farm. Very nice. I guess I still need that ectoplasm, though. I can't believe I've been having so much trouble with that one. Green slimes and got two pounds worth of green algae highlight of yesterday. Yeah, Rebecca, that kind of, like, that attitude just drives me up such a wall. I hadn't even heard of his channel until... Oh, cranberry day! Until you told me about... Uh, each bomber guy's channel in the first place, but you guys ready your pop cats? Let me go ahead and throw that one in there. Start us off. Let's get our money here, shall we? Oh, uh, if we do get blue chickens, we need names. For reference, we're going with like money theming, just generally. Um, so our first chicken is nest egg, our second one is yen, our cow is cash cow, um, our horse is bet. Bonus? Bonus sounds cute. Bonus and like raise or something like that. Gallon. Stocks. Come on, name one stocks, just because I find that amusing. Dividend. <laughs> Django, same same mind, just stonks.
Okay, so... Just courtesy. Just round it out with just currency. Bonds. <laughs> Bones my little blue and money and I got it. So I just got for the name blue because I like calling my blue chicken that. So. so you didn't eat yesterday either. Was it just because it- oh, I was gonna say, was it because it was an event day? And like, I didn't have a lot of time? Like, I, I kind of went in at nine o'clock and then I went to bed when I got home, sort of dealio. Because yeah, no one ate yesterday. Oh, uh... What am I missing? Oh, I'm missing bat wings? Really? I run out of bat wings? Okay, it's fine. Out of all the things to run out of. You know what? I'll just put down a little spare one here. You got Ignis! I love Iggy. I think I had a spare one somewhere in here. Uh... Or I used it. I have used it up. Tender. It's both money and food related. Ooh, that's actually a really good one too. Hold up, it's gonna bug me so bad. It's okay, it's fine. Um, that's a good idea. Alright, so we are gonna go try to get our hands on a blue chicken. I hope we're able to trigger that cutscene. We're gonna go fishing for an albacore. Does this tell you when they spawn? Just tells you where. Okay. Fish, because it's the early money maker in this game. Uh, oh god, okay, that didn't trigger. Let's see. Let's see here, Shane. How do I trigger this? I just enter while he's home. So I guess... Oh, it's a Friday. I think tomorrow might be a better day for this because I don't think he goes to work on weekends. So we're going to have to wait. Hold on to your ideas. I'm going to admit, I think I like Tender for our first one because it is that dual theme name. And then the other one I want to look up is the Alba or Albacor six. Uh, okay, so we're gonna we're gonna come back after, like at six p.m. Welcome back again, Itsu. Oh, you got Sid, Brandon. I do love Sid. Yeah, we're naming chickens. We're coming up with money. 
name or bunny themed names but uh i think i'm gonna go with tender i think tender is, has struck out to me i haven't named one gill yet that's a good idea though I'll probably get my hands on a couple different blue chickens, so. Uh, okay, that's for Alex. Rupee, yeah, we could do like currencies from video games. Bells. Just Ico from nine. That is quite the team. Come here. No, no, come, come here. Thank you. Ectoplasm. Also, I'm not gonna lie, the way I saw Sid's name and then it it kind of dawned on me that we're gonna be playing a game where Sid is in said game in like two days. Well, less, a little bit more than two days, but like, you know. It's happening. It's, it's coming soon. Should I get the Digital Deluxe for Rebirth? What does that include? No idea, can't remember. <laughs> I always try to base it off of what it gets you. I know I'm getting the physical deluxe or whatever, but I, I don't remember what that gets me either. <laughs> you know, someone in here likes Adamant. I do. Oh, look at him, he looks so cool. I have no idea what that game's all about. I just see all these people together. Couple of in-game items. Yep, I'm gonna be live early tomorrow. Probably 8.45ish Eastern. For the nine o'clock Pokemon presentation. Then we're gonna play some more Stardew. Pot summoning material. Ooh. You know what? I have no idea what those get you, but they sound cool and I'm excited, so I'm gonna say yes. I'm the one who likes anime. I think a lot of us do. Didn't want to call you out. Well, I mean, affection kind of called herself out, but like, you know. And when I say called out, I mean like yelled out. <laughs> Ghosties, come on out. I need ectoplasm. I don't think I'm gonna complete this quest somehow. Definitely have a crush on Adamant. <laughs> Uh, Irida also has a more modern outfit. Oh, she looks cool. She looks cool. I'm sorry, I just had curiosity. Um... Mike was saying I should like make myself some rings earlier and like some of these are handy, yeah. 
I don't know. I just want my magnet ring and my lights. That's usually all I have. It just suddenly dawned on me. I should look into what I have. Yeah, I don't know what they thought they were doing making the professor so attractive. That was like uncalled for. <laughs> Ask you for much. <laughs> Hopefully, one day, Brandon. Oh, no, that is definitely not a pickaxe. Ghosty friend, ectoplasm? Maybe? A little bit of ectoplasm, just a smidge. I'll take what I can get. No? Oh, this game really does not want to be nice to me. Uh, okay, this is Maru's note. I think I've actually seen a little bit of that, Rebecca. I'm just trying to remember from where. I think I just saw like screenshots on Twitter at one point. Another ghosty. And some more of you guys, not that I'm anywhere close to that. What sort of snack did you grab on your way to work, Ace? No. Ectoplasm says not today. time I gotta get going let's head back oh, I forgot about the albacore whoopsies okay tomorrow tomorrow we're gonna go fishing early in the morning and then go see Shane on the way back Sour cream and onion chips. Oh, nice! I used to, like, those are like my favorite flavor when I was younger. Um, I haven't had them properly in a long time. So we're gonna make 
bit of money from uh from some cranberries can't complain about that second to last day of year one oh, okay today's not a great day um so i think we're just gonna run right down to the ocean right now uh, Linus just sent me a catfish in the mail. <laughs> Thank you. And I'll take care of animals and everything else after I get this done. Please of Ash from near the end of Journeys. First time you ever interacted with characters in the game canon. That is really weird. Linus is catfishing you. No, no, we like Linus. He's a nice old man. Really, really, I swear, I'm trying to do your quest right now, sir. Get the heck out. Unless it was for Linus. No. It was for Gus. Never mind me. Sorry. Sorry, Willie. Oh, what's this? I love it. Look at him go. What is happening? Oh dear. I was just thinking of you, lad. This bug meat you found is perfect. When I said fresh, I didn't expect it to still be wiggling. But I'm not complaining, the fish love it. Hey, Omni. So he's saying thanks, I wanted to teach an old fisherman's secret. My old pappy taught me this on a fishing trip many years ago. Learned how to craft quality bobber. Isn't that Bobber will attract higher quality fish? That means more money in your pocket, lad. Oh no, it's Sue. That's such a bad tag. That sucks. Okay, so we have until 11 a.m. That's when this thing will stop spawning here, so. Hope we get it quickly. I got so thrown off uh, yesterday because I was off stream on Saturday. I thought yesterday was Saturday and then today was Sunday. Oh, those are the new characters, right, Brandon? Oh, there's the albacore. Awesome, that wasn't too bad. So I think Marnie opens at like nine. Depends on how popular Horizons is, the fact that it took them a year to localize the first episodes makes me think that no, it won't be popular in the West. Oh dear. I want to keep my hopes up for it, but... <laughs> okay, uh, is Gus open this early? No. Okay, that's fine. It's not triggering. Really going to attach to Marnie's chickens. I wonder if I needed to actually see those previous cutscenes. I might have. That's unfortunate, man. Oh well, that's okay. Oh. I swear I just saw a sparkly spot in the water. I 
I think as much as I have, like, you know, this fond memory of Ash uh, as a kid from the anime and stuff, I'm also open to the new characters. Yeah, more Pokemon concierge to look forward to, definitely. Um, I think there's, it's like, it's only so many times that you can, you know, start over and do shilly shenanigans to release his Pokemon and stuff like that. Now, I would be totally open for a flash forward of some kind where this poor kid finally ages up in the future, even if it's just as some sort of, like, cameo. Oh, you know what, Affection? I meant to talk to you guys about that. Mike and I watched the first episode of the brand new live-action Avatar yesterday, uh, and I think we're both very, very, very on the fence. Like, very. Uh, but I think... My first initial takeaway like we're gonna continue watching it but my first takeaway is I just it just makes me want to watch the original because the original is still awesome and there's nothing wrong with it after business owners in the valley oh that could be kind of funny down once again and try to get Shane, but if not, I'm going to assume we need to trigger the other cutscenes, which means befriending Clint and I think Emily a little bit. Which again, isn't the hardest thing, but it's just a bit tedious. I don't think he's in here anymore anyway. So someone say the M Night move was actually better because it had a shorter runtime. This is the goat. Get it? Yep. I don't like live action uh, adaptations in general. Don't plan to watch it, but I heard people say the movie is better. It's like I haven't seen that movie. To be fair, I had heard it was something that you essentially pretend did not exist, so I just do. Um. I don't have that basis, but I don't know. Nothing's gonna beat the original. It's good still. Poor cow be named after Pierre. Did you see a friend who isn't hugely into avatars and joined the show though. Yeah, it might be like a good introduction for people who would have never watched the series. Um, because then, you know, they get to enjoy the animated one after if they decide to and it's going to be infinitely better, so. <laughs> yeah, I think one of the actors didn't realize which avatar he was signing up for. <laughs> Thought it was the blue people avatar. I'd heard the same thing. Um, okay. I'm trying to, like, debate what to do at this point because I can't get my blue chickens. I won't have time to befriend, um, Krobus in time. Full Metal Alchemist, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. I think I also, wasn't there also a live action? One of that too that we also pretend does not exist. No worries, Crow. We'll see you later. I guess I'll continue trying for this. Didn't like the anime, so I mean, it was an A movie. No, random. No, no. No, you don't. That's a good show you should all watch instead. But yeah, I think Mike and I are going to continue watching Avatar, but it's like... Eh. Um, I like Soka so far. The guy they got for him is okay. Um, I don't like Aang very much, unfortunately. Um, Iroh was okay? I haven't seen him be Iroh enough yet. Uh, Zuko was alright. 
it, again, it's just like, all right, they're okay. Like, you know, it's not like... Big, outstanding, happy words, <laughs> if, you, if you catch my meaning. I liked his story, at least in the original. I agree he was, like, you know, he was obviously a child and immature in many ways, as children are. Um, but I appreciate the story of him kind of growing up and taking on his responsibilities, at least. Ooh. Yeah, oh! Oh, it's a fishy. I got really excited. I thought it was actually what we needed. Um... I agree, Silver Turtle, I agree. Wait, I already have the ladder. What am I doing? There we go. Making new eyepiece is risky. Oh, I got that dagger for the second time. Uh, so they keep remaking stuff that made money in hopes of making more money instead of fixing the issues of the stuff that didn't make money. Which would be a better option for consumers. Yeah, it's pretty bad. very much in this era of remakes, remasters, and like, I don't think all of it is bad, obviously, I'm excited for one coming up on Thursday, but like, you know, a lot of it doesn't need to be done. Oh, bless you? Is that a cough? Oh, I'm being blocked in by stairs. No care for the live action. Avatars, I love the anime, so I just wait for the season 6 of Dragon Prince, which is being made by the Avatar writers. Can I just say, by the way, I, I just- I need to point this out because now two people have said it. I got yelled at by an ex for saying Avatar, The Last Airbender, was an anime. And I do mean yelled at years ago, and now two people have called in anime, and I'm like, oh my god, this is bringing back memories. <laughs> I'm not the only one who will say it. I guess technically it's not, but also, like, you know, you don't need to yell about it. Yeah, the Warner Brothers, that's weird. No, I think he was going on about the whole thing that it's it's American-made, so it's not an anime? I think that was his point? It was made in the US? Yeah, it... <sighs> I, I, I don't know. I'm, I would never be that picky with anyone. I don't really care one way or another. It's an animated series. I enjoy it. Exactly. It's easier to call it an anime. It doesn't really matter at the end of the day. But oh man, it's who you said it first, then Ace, and I was just like, oh, I'm remembering things. <laughs> I remember being in the car and he like lost it. But he was uh, maybe a little too into it. There it is. Four years, Press Bob Love. Press Bob Love. Thank you so much for the four year resub, Andrew. I appreciate you. How are you doing today? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Captain K, I can agree with that. I can agree with that for sure. You've also been told off by someone, right? Beetle, how are you?
New badge though, who dis? <laughs> Anime is Japanese for animation, so technically nothing should be called anime if you're speaking English, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna keep the spare diamond. No, 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 wait, oh, don't sell that. Oh, wait, don't you worry, they're long gone, out of my life at least. Uh, but yeah, no, it was, it was silly, looking back on it. Crazy to think 2020 was four years ago. Oh my god. Wasn't it just yesterday? It's like headache coming on, but it's small. A lot of dog training. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Sorry, I missed out on that. Uh, I pop in and say hi. I hope the dog training goes well. Okay, let me see this, Rebecca. Anime is hand-drawn and computer-generated animation ori originating in Japan. So I think that is... That's the crux of it. That's the thing. Outside Japan and in English, anime refers to specifically animation produced in Japan. However, in Japan and Japanese, anime, a term derived from a shortening of the English word animation, describes all animated works regardless of style or origin. Second sentence is Kotaku. Or the source of the second sentence is Kotaku, so who knows if that's valid. <laughs> Fair. But yeah, I think I think that's the crux of it. I'm never gonna be one to get all that picky. I just wanted to like bring that up as a little anecdote because I look back on how silly it was for someone to be mad about that. Uh oh, I'm running really low on gold bars. When did that happen? Is he a weeb? Yeah, a little bit. Actually, a lot of it. <laughs> and I don't, I like, that's not necessarily always a bad thing either. As Mike, Mike knew him, so he also is just saying yes, the answer is yes. It's a stitch anime made in Japan, but there's also a Chinese one that I've also been referred to as an anime, so who even knows? Yeah. Um. Uh... Okay, put in some more cranberries. Yeah, I get really, like, defensive. Yeah, that might be a good word for it. Really don't want it. We just got the movie after years of development. Why are we retelling the same story? Just give us a parallel universe prequel sequel series. Sounds way more interesting. Oh, I'm sorry they're doing that. Uh, okay, so I think we're good for the night. Oh, your wisdom tooth is flaring up. Hopefully it's settled by uh, by Thursday affection. Hopefully it feels better soon, though, faster than that. It's never any fun. In my art style, but I wouldn't call it an anime if it was made in the West. Fair. Okay. We learn how to make cranberry candy. Another JRPG discussion. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, I think we have very, very different views on that one. So Chad, um, I've had a brainwave and those don't happen very often, we all know that. <laughs> um, and this is me kind of toying with the idea, not saying I would like to either way, but um, I 
I was thinking, with our Jojo run here, we have hit the achievement, and I was wondering if ending it on the first day of year two would be a good idea. We do like thinking. Thinking is good. Not because I want to end it, because obviously I am thoroughly enjoying my start. Don't get me wrong. But I'm thinking just in terms of we hit the achievement, we did a decent bit for our first year, I'd argue. Um, I don't know what we would end up doing tomorrow. Probably Pokemon or something after the Pokemon presentation. Um, but just trying to make it like a, a rounded series. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Because I'm, I'm thinking ahead here. I'm thinking to tomorrow because tomorrow would be uh, the last day I'd be streaming this before I go on break. Um, I don't think we have time to get Krobus, which would be the other goal I want to do. Uh, and I don't know if we'll be able to get Shane the blue chickens either. Spinning your wheel, so yeah, ending it seems right. Yeah, I was thinking it, and I didn't, like, I was like, oh, God, I feel kind of bad, but, oh. What the heck did I, did I just break it with my face? Yeah. <laughs> you have a suggestion, but you gotta wait a while. Fair. Fair. No, yeah, I, I like that idea. But yeah, maybe, maybe we'll kind of leave tomorrow open. See what we feel like doing. I have been loving Stardew, though. Um, and if you're, you've are you been hanging out with us for like the last two weeks just for Stardew, I do appreciate it. Um, if the 1.6 update does come out uh, while I'm on break, which will be from the 29th of February to March 9th, uh, I think March 9th is actually the day I come back. Um, I will be playing it when I come back. Like, that's just, like, guaranteed. Because um, I, I wasn't... I Pretty much, to get me away from Rebirth, I'm going to have to have a game like Stardew that I absolutely adore. That I would be really, really excited about streaming. So I'm kind of hoping it does come out. Um, and that would give you guys, theoretically, a couple days head start on me. Because I wouldn't play it off stream. Uh, it, I'm gonna be honest, it's for rebirth. It's- I don't care about my birthday. <laughs> like, at all this year. <laughs> I- I have zero excitement towards my birthday. It is purely all about rebirth. Uh, birthday just happens to fall in that time. Itching to get back into it, yeah. But yeah, we could do a little bit of Animal Crossing, maybe. I was thinking Animal Crossing on Wednesday as well, so... Uh, and I also mentioned it really, really briefly uh, in, in the Discord update uh, for our schedule. Uh, my birthday is March 3rd. Uh, normally I do a stream that day and hang out with you guys, but because of Rebirth and spoilers, I'm going to be very much offline. But maybe when we come back we can do something. Oh, Twitch just welcomed me back into my own chat room. Thank you, Twitch. So. I'm also still trying to get these ectoplasm. I just really want to say that I've got it. Despair to grab some lunch. Things are going well. Things are going well. We were just debating ending our little Jojo run here actually on the last day of uh, winter year one, just because I won't be able to achieve everything else I want to achieve by tomorrow. I was gonna say if you like bats, but um, probably not a good idea. Mason H birthday falls on whatever Wednesday. Oh, perfect. Definitely revisit it for the four year anniversary. Oh, that sounds weird to say. Get into bed, play some Animal Crossing with a hot water ball attached to my face. Oh, I'm so sorry. I got the trash hat. Yeah, like, this is my first JoJo run. I'm pretty proud of this. Not to mention I'm a little rusty on Stardew since it had been a while, but it was good. Have any plans for far future to play Rebirth on stream? Oh, 
I will be streaming Rebirth and I'll probably end up playing at least Remake before... Oh, I finished a Monster Hunter goal uh, beforehand. Uh, on stream as well again. But yeah, no, definitely. I'm going to give people ample time to get through it though, including myself. And then probably like emotional break because I know I'll need it. Exactly is a Jojo run. Um, so pretty much in this game there are two options. You can go the community center route, which there is like a, a rundown community center that you help the community fix up by donating items from your farm and from around the valley. Um, and when you do that, you get these rewards like the minecarts or uh, a greenhouse and other stuff like that. Um, a Joja run is kind of like the capitalism run. You side with the big corporation moving into the valley. That community center gets turned into a warehouse or like a storehouse. And you can still get the same rewards, but you don't donate uh, items. You just spend money to unlock them. How do you get the trash cat? You, you, trash cat? Trash cat. Literally Ollie. No. Um, it, like it's, you said, you dig through trash bins. You have a chance of finding it. There's a perfect emote for that. <laughs> But yeah, I, uh, I had never really dug through the trash bins either in previous playthroughs. So I don't think I'd ever had this hat before. Oh, I thought that was the ectoplasm again. This fish tricks me every time. Also, uh, maybe while I'm digging through here, friends. Basically, you did an Itsu run. Jojo plus Trash Hat plus no romance. <laughs> Itsu percent run. Um, do we have any any predictions? Any sneaky predictions for uh, Pokemon Day tomorrow? We'll get, we're obviously going to talk about it more tomorrow, but... Get back to this game so bad, but my hobby is busy. With his work with writing. Oh, I hope you can get back to it someday soon. There is an update apparently coming pretty soon, so. Exactly. We didn't have time or... Well, actually, no. Just time pretty much for romance. Too busy making money. It's... <laughs> Spend at least 15 minutes talking about mobile games. Yep. Twitter will be pissed. Oh, Twitter's always pissed. All right, Fudge, enjoy your nap. And dating sim just for you. anything for the up other update content because of writing work. I do hope you enjoy them when you get to it. Oh, it was your birthday on Saturday? I hope you had a great day. I have a lot of birthdays like around this time of year, it seems like. I got the ladder. What am I doing? Okay, there is a ghosty coming up. I feel like I have better luck with other things in this playthrough than with the, the ectoplasm here. Thank you. 
found out something a few days before that. What's up? Oh, congratulations! Oh, it's see what's this? Oh, I missed. I missed. Try again. Oh my god. <laughs> Who's a pun on engaged? <laughs> Random's like, what did I do? Oh, you got Tifa? Oh, I'm jealous. Oh, no. Three months or so in. Oh my goodness, I hope everything goes well. That's so exciting. Oh, oh my goodness, there you go. Hi! Disney's hello, how are you? Alright, I guess this is gonna be the last floor, last ghost potentially. Could you just drop the ectoplasm? I don't think I can hand it in anymore. I'm doing good, I'm doing good. From a previous relationship. Uh, is your daughter old enough to like, understand that they're gonna have a sibling? All right, no ectoplasm. How was that so, how was that so tough? Jeez. I think I remember doing that one in my old save file too, but. Maybe that took us a couple attempts, maybe it just got luckier before? I have no idea. 12, okay, yeah, so definitely. Uh, I'd say old enough to, to understand. Actually, wait, let me put all this stuff away first. Oh, hey, our Crystallarium. There you go. Uh, I think most other stuff here I can just sell. Uh, found some things by looking at the garbage cans on lucky days. Sometimes you'll find a dish of the day behind the saloon, usually fresh. For dessert, I'll check the Molner's can. For cookies, for treasures, I check the cans by the blacksmith in the museum. Okay, that doesn't mention Haley and Emily's trash can, because that was honestly my lucky trash can. <laughs> Oh, got you, got you. Uh, incidentally, it looks like Stardew is currently on sale for the Steam version, seven forty nine USD. Yeah, if you haven't picked up Stardew yet, um, even full price, in my opinion, it is very much worth the money. So good. There we go. All right. That was one year of Joja. And in that year, we made a Joja house. I got a trash can hat. We got our achievement and our soda machine. Yeah, there's the new update coming out. Oh, hi. My name's Ken. I just got back last night from overseas. My wife told me that a new farmer had moved in while I was gone. Hello, this is awkward. Well, I just wanted to introduce myself. I'll see you around. Um, we started off farming in this little space, and then we got the greenhouse and we kind of didn't look back. We got our kegs. The 
got our, our cat nook, named for Tom Nook, our horse bet, named for horse betting. We have our little pasture, which is looking very messy right now, but I promise it's just because it's spring. Um, and in said pasture, we had, I'll let them come out. We had Yen, Benjamin, and Nest Egg is right there. There you are. Nest Egg. <laughs> Oops, was that? That was Ken. That was Ken. Uh, and then if Cash Cow wants to come on out. Come on out, Cash Cow. Cash Cow's like, no, I've never been outside before. I was born in the summer, in the winter. There you go. Cash Cow's like, oh, this is fresh grass. Uh, we had the meteorite land pretty early. Of course, it had to land right on a path. I got our tappers set up. Uh, got our greenhouse. We got two ancient seeds, which isn't too bad. Got some trees that were never fully grown yet still. Uh, we chose the mushroom caves. We didn't romance anyone, but I did try to get chickens from Shane, and that didn't really work out too well. Also, I wanted to remake Krobus, but that took way too long. <laughs> um, and that was pretty much our Jota save file. It was good. Try mining it. Let me see. I, I, I thought that you had to have a better quality pickaxe, but maybe you don't. Yeah, no, you need the better one. You need the better one. Got diamond in Haley and Emily's trash can. I figured Haley got a curse diamond. Emily quietly got rid of it. Yeah, I, I got some good stuff from their trash can. I think I got like a gold bar once or something like that. Um, we got to level 10 farming, level 9 mining, level 9 foraging, level 10 fishing, of course, level 8 combat. At the Skull Cavern, which I died in. I got down to floor 48, though. Uh, Bigger's Knowledge, Magnifying Glass, Translation Guide for the Dwarf. I don't know if anywhere tells you. How many things? I guess this is pretty much all it's going to tell you what you donate. We got the Ancient Sea, we got the Dino Egg. Um. I got all the secret notes, apparently, yesterday. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I don't think there was an achievement for that. Um, considering this is my first JoJo run and also my first time back in Stardew in uh, a good, like, I want to say like a year and a bit, year and a half. I'm pretty proud of that. Um, if you guys weren't here for it earlier, I was pretty much saying my last day before I go on a bit of a break is tomorrow. Well, Wednesday. <laughs> Technically, my last day playing Stardew would have been tomorrow. Uh, but I think I was going to end it. I, mean, I was going to end it at the end of year one. Just one year of Joja. Um, and if and when they do the update for 1.6, I will be streaming Stardew again for sure. I think tomorrow, to answer your question, Andrew, it kind of depends on what they show during the Pokemon presentation. Um... If it's something really, really exciting. <gasps> wait, 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 excuse me. It's out. Like the release date is officially announced. Like right now. I'm going to Twitter. I'm going to Twitter because I know Twitter will tell me. I'm announcing the release date for 1.6 March 19th. March 19th. One minute ago. I just ended my playthrough one minute ago. And he announced it. Mr. Mr. Concerned Ape, are you here? Are you watching? Are you are you here, sir? I really enjoy your game. Uh, that's really cool. Console and mobile will follow as soon as possible. So that... That's really cool. That might put a slight, slight dampen in my plans because I want to do it on... Uh, on PlayStation. We might wait and hold off on that. It gives you guys extra time anyway. Uh, I will be way back from my break by then. So uh, March 19th, one way or another, we're going to be playing Stardew. Um, yeah. 
Cool. Also, hi, sorry, I was lurking. I appreciate you so much coming in with that. That was like perfect. Perfect timing. Yeah, one day before the four year ACNH anniversary. Mark your calendars, friends. Now we know. There's also, I'd like to point out, the tweet itself has a raccoon on it. And I'm, I'm, I love trash pandas. You can do Wind Waker when you come back then. Ooh. Now that is a shorter game. I could get through that. We'll see. We'll see how we're doing. Um, people in them ideas, right? Uh, <laughs> I was like, oh my god, must speed time. That is such crazy good timing. I, I, I'm so happy. Um, but yeah, I think this is where I'm actually going to be wrapping up here, chat. Thank you for joining me for my very first Jojo, Jojo run. Um, I enjoyed it more than I thought I would after 800 plus hours of avoiding it. I finally sat down and did it and I actually really liked it. So I'd recommend trying it out if you haven't already. Get that achievement, earn all the achievements. <laughs> um, I think... Who are we gonna go say hi to? I think we're gonna go say hi to Iris today, chat. You wanna come on over? We'll get the read message in chat in a second. There it is. Thank you. Um, and if you are new and you want to drop a follow, I usually stream every day except for Thursdays and Fridays. I am going on a bit of a break next week, but I will be back for some more Stardew when that update comes out, as well as a lot of other games. So, um, yeah, good day. I'm happy. This is a good time. I'm very excited. I have a little bit too much excitement right now, I think. <laughs> We have Pokemon, we have Stardew, we have Rebirth. It's just a good time. Let's go send the love over to Iris, though. She's awesome. She's playing a game called Vandal Tale, which is a really cute little, I think, like, life sim sort of game. But I think it's from the creators or in the world of League of Legends, from what I've heard. I have no more idea about it other than that. So have a good one, and uh, I will see you all next time.